All right, guys, we're into the next section, cooking on gas, cooking with fire. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let me open up the lab. We've still got the same lab we're running with. So let me just double click this again. I'll close down all the other ones. I wonder if this one is still operational. No, all right, close them all. Open up the lab again. Make the session a bit bigger. And I'm telling you, if you work in IT for long enough, you're going to have to start wearing glasses. So the plan is probably to get in and get out while your health and your eyesight is still good. But we're on VMX1. And what I want to do is just show you how we would edit some of the configuration. So if I say show interfaces GE00.0, you see that we've got some addresses there. Now, if I wanted to remove one of those addresses, and, and if, sorry, before I start that, if I go into run show interface terse, we can see that the GE00 interface is up for all of these addresses, 1.1.1.1, right through to 200.2.2.2. If I wanted to delete one of these addresses, what I would say is edit interfaces GE000.0 under the family inet. And we need to know that like the inet.0 is for IP version four, then you could have like inet six for IP version six. And there's other ones like MPLS as well is one of the address families. You have ISIS, which is another address family. But if I wanted to delete one of these, so you see we've got all our three addresses. I would just type in delete 1.1.1.1 slash 24. Sorry, I need to delete the address. Delete address. And when I do a show compare now, we can see that if we were to actually commit that configuration, it would remove that address from underneath the GE000 stanza. There's another thing that we could also do, as you saw previously, that this address all of these addresses were up. If we wanted to um, disable the whole unit, then we could run a disable command and that will shut down the interface. But it would also shut down all of the addresses under that interface. So let's do that as well. So if I said, is it here? It, it may not be here. If I just go up and under the GE000 unit zero, if I say set disable, that will also take. So now if I go to the top of the configuration and say top show compare, you can see that we've added a disable, which will bring the interface down. And we've also removed the 1.1.1.1 slash 24 address family. So let's commit that and then go back on the run. And we can only, we're in commit private. So top and say commit. One show interface GE000.0. I wonder if I could put a terse on the end of that. So we can see that it's been admin down for the interface and the 1.1.1.1 slash 24 address has been removed. What I'm also going to do here very quickly, I'm just going to put some batch addresses in here and show you how I would be able to remove all of these addresses with a wildcard command. So let's configure it first. Edit interfaces, GE000. Let's, let's do it under a different interface. GE0001.0 family inet. Set address as 192.168.10.1 slash 24. 10.2 slash 24. 10.2 three slash 24 let's uh we have to go to the top of the hierarchy so top commit run show interface ge001.0 terse let's try that again guys i have a request from you if you're enjoying the free content i'm looking to increase my subscriber count to 4,000 subscribers by june but I can only do that if you give me the play special. Do you want to know what the play special is? Press like and yeah, subscribe. Okay, back to the video. All right, so you see that we've got three interfaces, 
ending in 1, 2, 3, but they all have the first three octets the same, 192.168.10. If I wanted to remove all of those, I would use a wildcard command. So what I can do is if I go under the interface and I say edit interface GE001.0 for the family INET, I've done that again. I wonder if this will work. Yes, it does. And if I said something like wildcard, so the command is wildcard, and then I will say delete address of 192.168.10. star. I don't even know if I need the dot. Yeah, so it's match three addresses. Do I want to delete all three of these? If I said yes. And if I do now a show compare, you can see that on a, upon a commit, it will remove all three of those addresses. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say yes, commit. I'm going to put a commit comment as a best practice. Deleted addresses for GE001.0. Again, from the top of the configuration. I will keep doing that, but okay. Now, if I say run show system commit, we can see the last one that we've done. We deleted the addresses from the GE001.0 interface. So if I now go run show interface GE000.0 TERS. We can see that our interface is still down. And how I could bring that interface back up, if I go into edit interfaces, GE000.0, yeah, that will be it. And I would, if we do a show here, it shows that it is disabled. If we wanted to get rid of that, we would just say delete, disable, commit that from the top of the configuration, obviously. Run show interface GE000.0 terse. And we can now see that the interface is back up. We could also probably do a set enable. So if you didn't want to put a delete disable, we could say set enable. That will probably do the same thing as well. The last couple of things that I want to show you is that we could actually deactivate this interface as well. The difference between a deactivate and a delete is that by deactivating an interface, it will keep the interface status as up. Whereas by disabling an interface will bring the interface down. So you, if you just to deactivate the interface, you might run into some issues because you'll be like, wait, why is this interface up? Let's just show you that very quickly. So if I could do it with a couple of up hour rows, because the interface will not be running active. So it currently it's up. Yeah, now we're going to deactivate the interface. So set deactivate. Is it set deactivate? I don't usually use the deactivate to be honest. Is it just deactivate? Yeah, deactivate. Okay, we're gonna deactivate that family. So let's say deactivate family inet. Show compare. Let's commit that from the top of the config, obviously. Top commit. Okay, top commit. And what I'm expecting to see is that this interface is still up, even though we've deactivated it. So run show interfaces, GE000.0 terse. And you can see that the interface is still up, even though we've got no IP addresses or anything. So you might see the link up, but you're not going to be able to ping it or anything like that. And you might be wondering, what, what's going on? And that's because you've got a deactivation. So it's a bit harder to troubleshoot a deactivate command as opposed to a disable command. All right, the last thing that I'm going to look at for this section is the rescue configuration. And when we're doing any kind of configuration via the CLI, you know, some fat fingered mistakes can happen. So a rescue configuration restores the last known good configuration that is designed to restore connectivity if you got any mess ups or any configure configuration issues so what i'm going to do this is a um, this is not actually a good configuration so let me just remove that deactivate command first show i think it will be delete 
deactivate. Oh, maybe it's just activate then. Activate family inet. We're going to the top of the configuration this time. And we're going to do a show compare. We're going to commit that. Run show interface ge000.0 terse. All our IP addresses are there and it's up, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to exit out and I'm going to do a rescue config. So I will do this from the operational command and I will say request system configuration. No, not request system. Quest system configuration rescue and save. And this will be the last good known configuration. If I now say show system commit, and you can see here as the very last one, it's our rescue config. It's the last known good configuration on the actual box. And if everything else fails, we know that this is the best working config. All right, guys, we know what time it is now. It's question time. Question one. Which one of the following is the management interface for a Junos device? Question two, look at the exhibit below. Network admins are saying that they are unable to ping the interface. Which of the following commands will resolve their issue? Question three, you are in configuration mode and you've made a mistake in the candidate configuration. Which command is going to delete the temporary config? Question four, what is the last known good configuration file called? Question five, which command allows you to delete a selected range within the configuration? 